Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Under the Admin Cap. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 8. It's the year 2385 and as bad of a start as we possibly could have had to this series, we're coming through. We're making it. And in fact, I would say now we're starting to finally thrive. We've got two really solid fleets. Um, we're building enough naval capacity that we're going to be able to start a third one here pretty soon. We're more powerful than almost everybody except the fallen empires. And even the people that were the most threatening to us the whole time, the re the remnants of the Khan Empire, the Great Khan Empire, the true Kopi Jaxi Horde, their fleet power is now pathetic compared to us. And they've been claiming our system. So if they want to come claim us, uh, go for it. And there they are, the true Kopi Jaxi hordes. Tell you what we're gonna do. You know what? Not the Kel Azons, the true true Kopi Jaxi. Where are they at? Research actually. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but here's what I'm gonna do. Close my borders to these guys. They get nothing. Gauss cannon. Alright, let's see. There's the Giga Cannon. That'd be fun. Battleship hull hit points would be more important. Uh, currently upgrading one of our fleets, and as soon as it's done upgrading, we're going to go kick a stab. Here's these guys, the Red Captaincy Pirate Fleet. You know what? We could go We could go take care of that for our neighbors, so we're going to go do that. We're going to go be nice. Be nice to your neighbors, especially, especially in chaotic times. Competitors engaged. Competitive station engaged. Admiral gains a trait from that. From blowing up that uh, pirate station. You gotta like that. We're at Lando Station. I want you guys in Eye of Hawking for right now, but we will move you back to Lando Station. That'd probably be wise, actually. Research agreement broken between those two people. It has nothing to do with us. So we're good with that. We're going to need to build another one of these foundry arcologies because we're running low on jobs over there. That's where we've been putting our extra peoples. Going to resettle a couple of people over here. I like to take uh, the clerks. And move them around. <clears throat> we need to take a look at our species because we have so many of them. These guys are great. They're uh, they're now on board with us with the continental preference. These guys down here are not, so we're gonna adjust them just so that they're maxing out with us. Create template, apply template to everybody in our empire. It's only gonna take 15 months, which will be fantastic. That does cut in our society research time, but. I think it's probably worth it for the extra 20% habitability that they'll get. And anywhere that does not already yet have an ion cannon is going to get one on these defense platforms. And then we'll worry about uh, Upscaling complete. filling out the rest of them with our custom builds. We have 8,000 alloys right now, which is great because when this guy gets done building, he's building the Science Nexus and it's 88% away and I think on the next the next thing it wants me to build, it's I'm going to need either 10,000 of these or 15,000, I can't remember. So we continue to be short on chemical plants, so I'm going to build. I might build some here. I'd rather colonize a new planet for it. <coughs> or put them on Yillian, maybe. This planet. It's got a bunch of clerk jobs available, so we need to send people that way. Send them to Yillian. Alpha Centauri just grabbed a second person here. It's Unemployed. Send a couple more of your clicks that way. 
Science Nexus construction, yay. So there it is, and it needs, yep, 15,000. So we're going to see what we can do about that. Um, let's sell a bunch of these minerals. Sell those off. Let's see how much we can buy. Oh, it's still so expensive. We might as well just wait. We'll get there. Because if we sell these guys like that, if we buy Next these generation guys, species updates deployed. so expensive. Unit price flying by. Research actualized. We'll just wait. We'll get there. Mega structure the inter oh administration capacity. More of that, please. Thank you. So now that we got that admin capacity on its way, I'm thinking one of these planets here. Either that one or this guy up here along the way. Eem. It's got a bunch of city districts. This would be another good research planet, actually. Because it's got a bunch of city districts and it doesn't have a lot of jobs districts, so you're gonna have plenty of housing and you can double up you can boost your buildings you get them fully boosted you get the fully leveled up I guess is the right way to say it like these these are all plus eight jobs now um, if I want to get more people on this planet I need to take another one of these generator discs and make it a housing because I'm gonna have this is one more job this is three more jobs so that's four five six seven more jobs so we probably need to do that at some point in time, and then it'd be a complete world. But I like the idea of doing it down here. This doesn't have a lot of districts, so this kind of becomes... Uh, this is a good world research to put secondary actualized. researches on it. It's almost like a hab a habitat. There is a, a bunch of stuff you can, you can create some more districts, but it's mostly going to be city districts, it looks like. Let's colonize this guy. Okay, what do we have here? Swarmer missiles. I like to just do these things to get them off the board. Get them off the... Is it not as an option to get to the good stuff? Gotta get them out of the way. So, we need more amenities. And I would rather, instead of using holo theaters, I'd rather use commercial zones. And get the trade from them as well. In addition, this planet has so many city districts. This is this would Ilion would also actually be primo for more research. Research um, actualized. Century rate. Upscaling All right, now we're complete. fully into the repeatables for this. So we, I pretty much complete. just stick to weapon attack speed and damage. Upscaling complete. Peace festivals, production targets, open borders. This. Upscaling complete. Base trade route protection, yes, please, because it's only going to get more. Research actualized. Improved strike craft. That didn't take long. Kinetic weapon speed. What's it? What else is cheap? Alloy nanoplanes. Yeah, so Yilion could be a really good candidate for more research, actually. So let's do that. Let's Upscaling say. Complete. Uh, research, mining. Upscaling complete. Let's build some research for this planet because this would be another good one to have. <clears throat> and where are we at on this stuff over here? Investigate the loop. Yeah, hold on. Lost a researcher. Do we? Oh, and we have a physics person too. So that science ship down there, not that one. He's assisting research. What happened there? Oh, we took that person from there. Okay. He's busy commanding. Do we have anybody else? Nope. I'll tell you what, you're gonna do that job now, and then we're gonna start grooming the next particle research person. The next physicist, start grooming them. Yeah, the blessed, yeah, whatever. We see your insults. We do. And this extra science ship just doing nothing, Upscaling but when complete. there's a war, we're gonna need it to go get stuff. So let's look at this. 
Investigate the loop. Investigate unidentified empire. Let's do that. That takes a month. Second chance available. We actually have uh, the people for this. Special project. So actualized. let's do that. Void clouds. Situation log Cloud revised. Study. Research actualized. Limbo. We're going to do the limbo. We're going to re put those people back in their bodies, in new bodies. Synth leaders. Titan Hall hit points, though. Kind of the thing I want to go get. What is it? Star Realm joined the Auspicious Alliance. Okay. Everybody's getting there. Getting bigger. Special project actualized. Limbo, a new beginning. They want to be part of our empire. We would be honored. Physics research. Titan assembly yard. We're here. This one. Which one is this? Sirius station. Yes. Grab the trade. We need Titan assembly yards. Naval logistics office. Yes. It's all coming together. Eam is now a colony. Grow it, Eam. Do it. Oh yeah, and we still have mastery of nature too for for that. Uh, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's see who doesn't have mastery of nature. Oh yeah, this is anti crime campaign. We can stop that. Our ecology project will give us two more districts on this planet. It costs us twenty thousand minerals. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that's our that's for Ecumenopolis. That's not what I was thinking. What I was thinking is not the archaeology. So we've done it on those planets. Mastery of nature. That's it. Cost is 2,000. Okay, that's easy. 2,000 credits and 100 influence. So we'll do it on Yulian, which we haven't done it on yet. And we'll do it on, on Eam. We're going to do... What are we going to do? I guess grab what little mining you can. And then uh, do the Arcology, not the Arcology project, Master of Nature on this as well. Alright. So our empire is growing, 155. We're still under the admin cap. We're going to get 15 more administrative power here soon, which would be fantastic. And we lost another scientist. We lost a flag waver. Let's see who we have. We don't have any of those choices, but we do have a genius, so we'll take a genius. Genius adding 10% to the research. This person doesn't have a field in society, physics, or engineering, but they do have 10% across the board. So. Plus, we get an additional 5% because we're cyborgs. So that's good. So the under the admin cap just play as people like to call it tall I just prefer to say under the admin Colonial cap it makes more sense upsizing. I don't know that we're any taller than anybody else <laughs> this is great what do we have here anything else that we can do here anything interesting nope okay so those are as upgraded as they need to be so we should see Keep resettling people to uh, places where there are jobs. Basically, just take some of these clerks and move them around. The Eku Monopolis. Look at this. 148 people. These these planets are awesome. Upscaling complete. <clears throat> We still have 140 minerals, which is great. So I think what I want to do is do this. I want to take this and replace it with alloy foundries. And I want to go on some of the established planets that have alloy foundries and replace them with consumer goods, civilian industries. So we'll do that here. We're going to replace both of these with those. That way this planet can be just... Um, mining world is a... a Poor designation on this planet. Upscaling just complete. because it only has three mining districts. We would be better off either going with Generator World or Industrial World for the Artisan Upkeep. We'll uh, 
Once these are switched over, we'll actually do this and see what the benefit is in our, our planet production down there and see which one is might be more worthwhile. Sometimes you just gotta run the numbers. This planet, still not quite happy, but it's got four more clerk jobs to fix, so. Uh, it would probably be a good idea now to start making food jobs for it future upscaling complete yeah so that takes a hit temporarily well one is well, the one is getting taken away and rebuilt more declared by who on who not us so it doesn't matter and we're gonna replace one of these so that's the even swap two for two we'll do this let's see who else do we have Alpha Centauri same thing here, replace this with that, replace this with that, so same thing on this planet, all civilian industries, and on the Ecumenopolis, we can just go replace that with alloys, because this is an Ecumenopolis alloy foundry one, and so it says metal or just upkeep minus 20, so we don't want to mix and match here, we want to take advantage of our benefits as much as possible. So, mixing bad. Those people who like to mix their peas with their mashed potatoes, I don't understand you. Complete. You eat those things separate, darn it. <laughs> That'd be a fun discussion, wouldn't it? Okay, so in that case, what happens there is Upscaling complete. these require crystals to upgrade. Okay. Well then Upscaling complete. I need to give some more jobs to people. I got three specialists on this planet. I can move them somewhere else, so let's move them to the Ecumenopolis, actually. To Beta Cali. Where are they? Unemployed. We can move them. Betas over here, and we can say, hey, you guys can take over these alloy founders over here. What do we got? Complete. Diplomatic grants, education campaign, okay. Education campaign, for sure. Diplomatic grants don't do us a lot of good, but since we're at 687, we might as well turn it on. Good business is where you find it. Good business is where you find it. Colony. These guys are tiny. Upscaling complete. Actually, forget it. Don't do mining there. Let's just do food or engineering. Let's just go generator district. Upscaling complete. <clears throat> And then let's go look. We got branch offices over here at this place. So we're going to try to do add some more branch. Well, we're at 155. How far away is that tech? Seven months. We're not going to add branch offices yet. The next group of tech that we get for that, for admin cap, then we'll do that. This was probably dumb right there. That's, that's pointless. Let's, let's replace those. Same thing. Let's go food because that's the one thing. That... Let's get that. You can either go energy and buy the food, or you can just go food and sell some for energy later. The rate is selling this gets you 0.71. You know, I don't. If you're gonna buy it, it's 1.07. It's probably better to just straight up buy it then. You're getting a better buy price than a sell price. So let's do that. Um, yeah, we'll just straight up buy it. So cancel this. Replace these with generator districts. Research actualized. All right, weapon attack speed and damage. I'm just gonna keep going with these two. Energy credits from jobs every now and then. I'll throw that in there. Vault of acquisition. Tile blockers. Leader enhancement. Selected lineage. Let's get the tile blockers out of there. Nothing on the Ecumenopolis here. We don't have those yet. Eam. It's all done with those. Okay, so we got that. So let's resettle people. To places where there are jobs.
So in Beta Cali, we need two more specialist jobs. So these are go up with moats. How many moats do we have? Zero. All right. Um, what do these go up with? Crystals. But they're not specialist job. We're gonna upgrade that. And then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some more moats on here. For the time being. And we're also gonna put down a ministry of production. Complete. And then we're gonna build another one of these. Because we're gonna need it. Alright, fleet command limit. Assault droid army damage. Let's do that. Strategic coordination center. I would like to have that. This should be where are we at? We got enough alloys now we can punch that down. Cool. Let's get that built. Should have been paying attention to that sooner. Okay, and research we can fix our ships now. Alright, well, let's get our research going. Tighten all the points. Exploit resource. Yes, thank you. Finally. Not that we have any of those here, but. Let's go look at our ships. We want to replace these. Oh, we did. Kinetic battery there and save. So that was the thing. I'm going to change those. The kinetic batteries are so much better. Nice tech. Then we can go through and look at cruisers. This has a couple. And then uh, it's a medium one. This is the large one right there. We do that. Okay. And we're good to go there. We're good to go there. We have neutronium armor, which is nice. The next thing is jump drives. Yeah, we gotta do all these. This kind of sucks. I really wish when you got the jump drive technology, it would just automatically put them on there. But no must. Oh, and here. Do we have enough now? We need to go shield. Yeah, we can go shields or we can go. Those are done. Back to the cruisers. This, I would rather have that set up like that. Same thing here. We're going to jump drive, and instead of two of those, give me some regenerative hull tissue. So, one shield capacitor and one regenerative hull tissue, and... Ships, same kind of thing. Jump drives, baby. And on the lance. Okay, so now all those guys are done. We can go down their fleets and we can say, hey, go upgrade. Go upgrade. And then uh, we need to start figuring out how to get one of these on every planet. Actually, we could stop with the robots there. And put another one of these on that planet. Might be a good idea. Either that or... Robots are what? One job? Let's do this. Put chemical plants on there. And the Empire Capital, this is providing five jobs. I'm still, if it, I'm still gonna have to take this, aren't I? I'm still gonna have to change one of these. I don't want to take any research, research off this planet. Actualized. Not gonna do it. Climate restoration, leader lifespan, what's short? Oh, blockers, good. Mm -hmm. But short here. Cruiser build speed. Alright, so on the home world, what we could do is. Yeah, I don't really want to take that paradise dome off there, though. We need it. I have to switch two of these out. Starting to get in a hole on some money here because of these new colonies. Do these first then give them some jobs market fee reduced by 10 
plan is this came through upscaling complete cam trend prime we'll do this that'll give us enough here to say do this and start with the commercial zones there and then what do you got so it's an odd factory great okay and then here Strategic coordination station nation. Okay, I can't speak. Fleet command limit 20. No, grab that. Strategic coordination center would be nice, but we gotta finish building the science nexus first. Which it's working on. Upscaling complete. So what other planets can we put stuff on here? Let's see. Things that we might be able to swap out. Oh yeah, like this. We don't need these whole theaters anymore. They're providing 20 amenities. We have more than enough from these other things. So we can take this and replace it with Stronghold. Over here, on this planet, it will be eventually providing enough Ships amenities. Upscaled. Let's put a Stronghold on that one too. Research actualized. Okay, what's next? Get all these cheap things out of the way. This is the first repeatable here on our hit points. We definitely want to get to it, so. Consumer goods are starting to need help. More declared. Between two people. Oh, the Wasari mandates involved in war. Well. Wow. Isn't that just too bad for them? What do we have? These are crystals. Upscaling We're gonna complete. need more crystals. Let's do this to provide three more jobs and start take care of consumer goods up, game, up there. You guys can continue to update because apparently something updated. We got 20k and we got a long time until this gets done. So Ships upscaled. what we can do... You guys can go back to your spots. Ships upscaled. So what we can do now that we have some some uh, alloy money to spend is we can go through here and do this. So protons, kinetic. Oh, and that's the other Upscaling thing. Well, we'll up, let those guys upgrade. We can go through our defense platforms and the kinetic large ones right there. Batteries. It is a deal. More unity. Yes, good. And a deal, more research speed. Yes. Cost us ten grand every few years, but the ion cannon what is this. Why does it have anything on there? Hold on. Was it it didn't actually have anything on there? Gosh. Upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. Okay, so let's look at our planets here. The diorama upgrade. Research actualized. It's got nothing on it. Oh my gosh. That stunk. Okay, um, disband. Yes. Disband those. Disband. It didn't have anything on it. It had been completely useless. Completely useless. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I looked at that. That makes me angry. Okay. Let's put one of those on each one of those. Titan hole hit points. Swarmer missiles. They're really cheap. Alright, let's go back here and do this. Ion class. Ion class. One ion on each of these. Gee hee hees. That's upsetting. Research actually. must be said, but which one is that? Barnard Star? I'm not concerned about that one. I should have five of these though. I got this guy up here. That one. Yes, please. Oh no. I don't need to be able to two on it. Fleet command limit. More fleet command limit. Okay. 
bought it by acquisitions. It's a sailing ship, so let's see So this guy, he's got a diorama. Yeah. Get rid of that one, make room for that. This one up here. Research actualized. Oh, okay, Starbase. This is the one that's not upgraded. All right. And quantum missiles. This guy over here is upgrading. Defense grid supercomputer, please. Thank you. This place is needs to be upgraded, and we can put one on there. And then one down here, which is being put on good. Okay. Research actualized. I'll get all six of our damn entry points. Too many entry Upscaling points, man. Complete. Energy credits from jobs. Give those to me. Association status. What do we have here? We got volatile moons. Okay. I would rather you guys Let's see. Let's just resettle you to some place that has some jobs. Beta Cali. That worker. Beta Cali, let's see. What are these? These are moats. We got a couple. We can upgrade that one, and we can upgrade that one. Give specialist jobs. This thing right here. I don't think we need that because what's our crime? Our crime from Pops is 143. Research actualized. From oh, minus 150 from jobs because this is worth minus 60. Oh, we better keep that then. The population's too big. We have to have that there. We have to have that, and we need to spend some influence on edicts, so we might as well. Peace festivals. Peace in our time. Okay. This colony is saying, hey, give us a city so we have some room. Well, okay. And this colony. Rolling along. So this is the big difference between playing this this way and doing what I typically do with a wide conquering style. It is uh it's a much different playthrough, as you can see. Much, much different. You just spend a lot of time focused on your one little area. I don't even know what's going on in the galaxy. That's what it looks like. Wow. We're just focused on us. But I do feel like this is a pretty good play to play, especially for the type of player who wants to play um, more like a Switzerland and just Research work on yourself. Actualized. And then... And then... Uh, when in-game crisis and things like that come around, you're ready for it. Okay, bunch of stuff here. We're gonna grab the strategic coordination center. So we have that next. This is halfway done. And we still got a lot of those, which is great. Um, let's go augment these fleets. Let's see. Got room for more. Can't have another one of those. All right. I want two point defense cruisers, and then uh, upscaling complete. Give me that destroyer right there. That'll work. And then before upscaling we upgrade, complete. we had a destroyer, don't we? We have a destroyer that has the L. Oh, and he's got it good. Got the kinetic on there. He's got the big kinetic, the big fancy one. Lead to manager. Alright, another point of ship there, and another kinetic there. You guys are ready to go. That doesn't even chew up that much of our stuff, that's great. We're still at 16k, we're probably going to need 15 to go to the next upgrade on this thing. I don't know how many upgrades there are for a Science Nexus site. Two, three, four? I can't remember. I know for a ring world it's four. I know for the Dyson Sphere it's four. I know for the upscaling complete and the matter decompressor it's four. So this planet. Upscaling complete. I want to do some 
food type things here. Oh yeah, Galactic Stock Exchange. Let's go food processing facilities for plus 15. Let's get a Galactic Stock Research Exchange on it to start cranking out some money, money, money. Oh, more hit points, nice. Synth leaders. Might as well. Upscaling complete. Let's find jobs for everybody. We got plenty. Let's see, what do you got here? Farmers, soldiers, technicians. <clears throat> These guys are doing a lot of jobs here besides mining. <laughs> In fact, are they doing any mining? What is this? This is on Sirius? Upscaling complete. On the planet Sirius. Oh, yeah, there's only three mines there. Um, let's look at... What do we have for robots? Robot alloy. Yeah, because I said these guys have resources from jobs. This is what I want to make everybody into. Let's just do that. Let's apply that temp template to everybody and make it easy. Situation log revised. And only have one kind of robot floating out there, because... Even though the robot farmer can give you plus 15 to farming, then it's not giving you plus 5 from everything else. And they're doing a, a variety of jobs now, so I'd rather just have the plus 5 across the board and make it easy. So we'll do that. Complete. Translating the explorer's text, that'll take 7 months on that. Probe the dimensional portal. Let's see about that. These guys are done. He's got his ion cannon ready, so let's build some stuff. Special project actualized. The null void, fascinating research option again. The null beam, I love those. I love those a lot. Upscaling complete. I love those a lot. So let's see, that's a research option gain. It's not, we don't actually have the weapon yet. Okay. Those become monsters against shields. Those are fantastic. We have over here, Democratic Pows Jock System. Okay. Some of our other bastions, Lando, I'm sure this is one that's gonna be heavily, heavily contested. Oh, we could put a nebula refinery over there, but I want this instead. So pause Jack so then go. And then a bunch of other stuff like I like that. Fill him up, Buttercup. He still only took 5k total off that thing. That's awesome. I love having tons of alloys. It makes me happy. It makes me joyous. The only thing that makes it better is having a lot of secondary resources. Alright, so... We can finish off diplomacy here and another thing. We're still waiting over here for this stuff. Um, things we want to pick, we can't pick yet. So we want galactic wonders, synthetic evolution, so we're just waiting for these things. We need synthetic leaders to get through, I think, or we can get that. So, just plugging away. building that's what we're doing keep building here we go how far away are you from finishing 458 days well, hopefully we'll get back up to 
15k here. Research this is going to be great. Get the next stage done. There's the null void beam. We love having those. Oh my goodness, those things are awesome. They are slamma jamming. They do four times the damage of a kinetic weapon, but only to shields. They're pathetic against everything Research else. But if you're actualized. fighting an enemy that has a lot of shields, man, that's it's, it's a sweet thing to have. So we can go up here and we can say like a cruiser right here. We can create the null void beam. 400% damage to shield. It does three, 36 to 95, whereas this is doing four times that damage so there's the thing 36 to 95 if you take the 95 and you do 400 percent on that i mean you might as well keep the kinetic battery these are still pretty awesome though because you can put them on medium and small slots still pretty cool Still pretty cool. Let's see here. Upscaling complete. Yeah, see if you do the math on this, this at maximum damage is 450. And the arc, the null void beam, maximum damage 95. If you take 95 times 4. It's equal to 380. So now there's some variance there because it's small as 36 times 4. So its minimum is 144, where this thing's minimum is 150. So really, on the large slot, you're still better off going with the kinetic battery. Now, on the smaller craft, if you wanted to have something like this right here, this medium slot one, um, you'd probably be better off with the null void beam right there going after the shields hardcore but we don't use those ships very often anymore so if i was going to create mediums or smalls and just wanted to go after shields that would be the way to do it education campaign coming off diplomatic grants we're one day away the science nexus hub hey so now we still have the next thing, the wings. I think this is the last upgrade to it because then it goes to 200s for these and then it's done. Adds to our research very nicely though. And then that triggers this empty ascension perk slot and makes that go off. So that's awesome. We're getting there. This is running out of jobs. So let's do that. Research actualized. Strategic coordination center, that'll be we might get a chance to build that admin capacity 15 because currently we're at 170 and 158 and we want to keep building on these planets so if we want to do that we need to keep getting those repeatable admin capacities but the cool thing is now we can ramp that up you can finish if you play the game this way under the admin cap through until you can get to the repeatables like we've done even though it's only 170 now, we can finish Special the game around actualized. 500 to 700 admin capacity doing this, um, which will allow us to do build all kinds of things like ring worlds and stuff like that and just stack them up. So, And then all we really care about is uh, what happens with the fallen empires and what happens with the crisis at the end. This place is, okay, so that's Earth, which I've talked about before of saying, let's take that generator district and replace it with a city. So there's more housing so we can finish upgrading these buildings and then we can basically be done with them. Uh, we can be done with Earth. And we can put like a hold on population growth, even though once you get at Ring World, you want to turn that off and send everybody to the Ring World. You want every planet creating pops and sending them to the Ring World almost as fast as you can send them. Upscaling complete. Um, mastery of nature on all of these. That would be good, except for that one. But oh, we don't have mastery of nature on this one. Oh, well, we will fix that. Upscaling Let's see. complete. We can get a little more food Upscaling out of this planet complete. before we just dedicate the rest of the districts. 
same thing with this one. And we have a credit dump going on. Let's see, let's make sure everybody is proper. One. Oh, you should be going in there. You should be going in there. Going in there, which you are, you should be going in there. You should be going in there. Great. You should be going to there. You should be going in there. Great. You're doing that. You're going to there. You should be going to there, you ding dong. You should be going there, and you should be going to there. Chain them all together. Alright, now what happened to our money? What happened to our money? Upscaling we lost complete. what? We still have production targets on. Why did we all of a sudden land? Is it because of the ships? We're in the hole. And we have how much coming through on trades? A thousand. Okay. Well then. One of these districts couldn't have been responsible for all of that, could it? Nah. Let's see about this. This has some districts. Tell you what. Let's switch these over from food. Generator districts. Let's turn those around. Replace that with something else, like an energy grid. And we'll send these guys to here. This colony. We'll send some of them to this colony. We need one more player on Eam. You can resettle to Eam. Resettle that person to Eam. Go down to Eam and say, hey, the very next thing that you need to build is an energy grid. See if we can get ourselves out of this trouble. What are we selling and buying? Oh, because we're also buying this. Oh, forget that. We don't need to buy those anymore. We can sell a few more of these. There, that got us out of all kinds of trouble, didn't it? Financially. Now the only thing is we're just short on minerals, because... Why are we short on minerals? Why aren't we at minus 19? Is it because consu we're consuming so many? For uh, alloys? Must be. Let's see what we can do about that, then. This planet's got... Oh, and it's because the robots. We tracked all the robots. We, we upgraded them all. Yeah, so we lost some of that bonus. We lost the bonus that were... So, on the planets where we should have robot miners, probably, is Earth and Yilian. Earth and Yilian. So let's go to Species. Let's go to Robot Miner. Apply that template to Earth and Yillian Prime. We need that 15% bonus. Revised. In the end, we need that 15% bonus from those guys. Okay, now, as far as who's building what. Yillian, you need to be building Robot Miners. Eam is not building any robots. These guys are building robot alloys, which is fine. Those guys don't have robots, so we're not building a lot of robots. What is this? There was peace between those two people? Okay, so we got a leader. What do we want? Claim influence cost. This does us no good. We're peaceful. We can't claim influence, so we definitely don't want to hire. We don't. Don't. The, these two people are old, and she's got an ethics shift chance. Forget it. So xenophobe ethics attraction. No. So this is it. Pop growth speed. Happiness. This person has naval capacity plus fifteen percent monthly influence plus one. You are elected. You were so much clearly better than everybody else. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you were so much clearly better than everybody else. Okay. Upscaling complete. Yeah, we could really use some more minerals, couldn't we? Man. It's like we're gonna have to Yes, it's a deal. We're gonna have to use these mining districts on these tiny planets whether we want to or not. We have to. 
we just we don't have enough and and that's the thing until we can get the the uh, matter decompressor the sleepers awake great so it begins as a subtle shift on Mathen. I thought I spelled that right I thought I said Mathen. Mathen, Mathen, whatever which sleepers Holy Guardians, this is a Fallen Empire. Watchful Regulators, Awakened Empire. It's, is it Mathen? It looks like the Mathen Regulators. Huh? Where are they at? The, the Mathen Regulators, where are they at? Let's find out where they're at so we can have some kind of clue. There's the Zirin Guardians. Because I thought... It's interesting. They sit on Mathen, but I don't see that planet. So we just gotta look for these guys. So I wanna know where they are. Blessed. Enlightened. Blessed. There they are. What, what is it? Special the Mathen Regulators. Okay, but. Upscaling complete. I guess that's, oh, and they have a wormhole, don't they? Where's that wormhole go? Are they gonna be expanding and going after these people? Mathen Regulators. Planet. Where's their. Right there. So it's Sabtrop. That's why I couldn't find it. Research actualized. Synth Leaders. Alright, let's see. Kinetic Artillery. The Giga Canyon. We don't have. We have a wormhole. It's pretty close, but it's not ours. Okay, so what up? Don't have to worry too much about that. Upscaling Let's see. Complete. Still need a specific a synthetic evolution right there. So choose that robot output is plus ten percent. Robot modification points is plus one. Yes. Situation log revised. Right. Well, I'm gonna leave it there, folks. It's good to know this place to stop. As always, if you guys dig the channel, subscribe. If you think the episode's cool, give it a thumbs up. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.